Okay, this is a quick problem solution to um, anyone who's using Windows XP Service Pack 2 and has a problem hibernating their computer. Um, the problem comes from um, having one and uh, more gigabytes worth of RAM installed on the Windows XP uh, computer. What it does is it messes with a kernel uh, that prevents the computer from going into hibernation. Uh, you might not have any problems with any viruses or spyware because I've going through that before um, I found out about this update um, for the um, Windows XP Service Pack 2. Um, before I was getting a message when every time I tried to hit hibernate it would say um, insufficient system resources to complete the API hibernation. Uh, and that's due to that damaged kernel. Um, it wouldn't happen every time. It would be very sporadic um, every one in four times. I would not be able to hibernate my computer. It would um, sort of go into hibernation and then it would just click back on the screen. You would see um, the little blue screen where it's saying uh, waiting for hibernation or something then it would kick back in. And um, after further research on the internet I found out that um, this was due to that defect when you install more than one gigabyte worth of RAM and XP. And um, what I found was on Microsoft.com, it's an update for Windows XP Service Pack 2. It's called KB909095. That's the update. Um, all you have to do is go there, validate your uh, version of Windows, uh, download it, and the uh, system should work fine. Um, I've tested this. I've hibernated my computer about five to ten times before this video and um, I've had no problems with hibernation. It perfectly hibernates now. Um, I just installed two gigabytes of RAM not too long ago and wasn't able to hibernate, but as you see right now, it's hibernating perfectly. It's not um, going out of a screen or anything. And that was just a uh, quick helpful tip for anybody who's having any problems with that. Um, if you have any questions, just Leave a comment, uh, send me a personal message, whatever means you want to, and um, I'll try my best to help you. Uh, for Vista users, um, I'm going to upload another video. Um, I also have Vista on my laptop. Um, I'm having some problems with the sound card and hibernation also, where I don't even have the option to hibernate it. Um, if I go to my start menu, and power, you'll see there's no option um, to hibernate the computer. It just says restart, shut down, sleep, lock, all the other options besides hibernate. And that is due to um, to when you uh, clean out your um, internet catch recycling bin. I use a program called CCleaner, which does that all in one. And what it does is it ends up uh, erasing the temporary files used for hibernation and the hibernation button. There's a um, command prompt that you can type into, um, type into, I believe you can just type it into the search bar at the bottom of the uh, Vista Star thing. And um, you can get your hibernation back up. Uh, I really don't hibernate this machine because it's so fast it's running uh a Core 2 Duo at 2 gigahertz, so that's 4 gigahertz processing power, and it also has 3 gigabytes of RAM. Um, before the the computer actually starting up itself, if you have a pretty fast Vista machine, it's actually faster than Vista um, and Hibernate and uh, coming back from hibernation. It's actually quicker to start it, at least with my experiences. If you have a, a lower power Vista machine, you might want to. Uh, check that out if you've been cleaning out your system and your hibernation button is gone just type in a search uh, on google or microsoft.com and it will give you the command prompt to um, to get your hibernation back up but like I said if your computer's fast enough uh, this actually happens to be a gaming computer so there you go it's actually quicker than hibernation uh, but like I said for my slower XP old desktop with the Pentium 4 processor. Uh, I do use hibernation a lot and I recently did that RAM upgrade um, and it caused the computer not to hibernate anymore. 
due to the defect uh, bug in Windows XP, but um, like I said, the update KB9090-95 uh, for Windows XP Service Pack 2 will do away with the hibernation issues.